Hello, my name is Ken Kaufman. I'm an artist, writer, and naturalist currently living in Oak Harbor, Ohio. I've been drawing and painting birds for most of my life, mostly for illustration. A few years ago, I started trying for more purely artistic effects, loosening up and working more in oils. My favorite subjects include the birds of prey, such as eagles and hawks, and large wading birds, such as herons and egrets. Although we tend to think of these wading birds as a different category, they're actually predators as well. They stalk through shallow waters and they use lightning-fast jabs of those pointed beaks to catch small fish and other prey. For my painting, Skipping Water, my focus was on the snowy egret. This bird is such an interesting study in contrast. Its feathers are pure white, and it has all these soft, delicate plumes, but it's really a very muscular bird, like all the herons and egrets. In human terms, it reminds me of a ballet dancer or a figure skater. They can appear so graceful doing things so effortlessly simply because they have such tight muscles and so much strength. When I'm starting in to work on a painting, my first step is always to do a lot of simple pencil sketches, drawing the bird in all different positions. For the snowy egret, I did quite a few sketches, just overall shape and then details of the head from different angles and the feet. Eventually, I zeroed in on wanting to show the egret running. I was remembering a particular observation on the California coast, where I watched a snowy egret sort of fluttering or skipping across small patches of deeper water. My first composition for the piece had the egret smaller in the center of the panel, with more background, but I finally decided to simplify it to just the egret and some reflections and ripples in the water. That worked better for me, because I always want to put the focus on the bird itself. For me, the snowy egret is a symbol of conservation. 120 years ago, all of the white egrets were in serious trouble. Their long, filmy plumes had become popular in fashion, so plume hunters were plundering their nesting colonies, killing the birds for their feathers. The movement to save the egrets from extinction grew into what's called the Audubon Society today. With protection, the egret populations were able to bounce back. Now these birds are abundant again, but I can never take them for granted. To me, they symbolize the fact that citizens can take decisive actions to help wildlife.